Welcome back to Whitey's Whispers, episode eight. Um, the buy and a week off last week. Uh, the club was inundated with uh, with phone calls asking where Whitey's Whispers had gone. Uh, we're back on track, um, and I've gone for the highlight reel himself, Ben Saunders. Welcome, Ben. Thanks, Craig. I'd just like to start by saying I'm a long-time listener. This is the first time I've been on the show. Thanks, mate. Obviously, mate. Uh, first of all, I must touch on your baby face. Um, you've been running uh, the comp with Higo, uh, the beard and the hair. Who got the chocolates and who's won? Um, Higo actually took that one away, um, unfortunately. I think he's uh, bluff, bluffed his way through that as well because I shaved and then two days later he shaved and he was going to run the beard all year, so um, he hasn't, but uh, I was silly enough to fall for that. Yeah, uh, and the chocolates go to Higo on that one. Um, mate, we had the buy on the weekend. Uh, you obviously like to get out and do a bit of outdoor activities. Uh, what did you get up to on your weekend off? Uh, drop a line in anywhere? Yes, mate, guilty. I did drop a line uh, on the weekend. I went up to Lehman, uh, went fishing, crayed fishing, um, and was quite successful, thank you. And what was the catch of the weekend? Um, a 12 kilo jewfish. <laughs> Very good, mate. Very good. Mate, you've got a few talents. Um, obviously, footy, taking screamers, kicking goals. Um, but the one that most people won't know um, is your, your hidden talent that you and Gumby have got, and you're releasing a, uh, a new single um, coming out. Can you tell us what's going on there? And I know a local Frio producer is going to be producing it. Can you le lead us on what's going on there? Um, I can't fully give you details of that, like that's me and Paul started that um, probably when I first come to the club, just at a function we just worked out that we both had um, a connection and sort of a talent and we just sort of, we, we went into the underground scene a little bit and we went down to Freo rap battles, um, we spat a bit and you know we worked out pretty well. Um, then April last year I think it was, we dropped a mixtape, uh, there was four songs on there, pretty good, you should check it out. Um, it's on Gumby's uh, YouTube feed, which is Paul McGumb, What You Gonna Do. Um, you can watch that there, um, but yeah, we've got we've hooked up with a little producer in Fremantle and we've been spitting a few rhymes and that and we're about to drop something hot, so just stay tuned. Yeah, no doubt, mate, and we'll keep all the listeners tuned, no doubt, for that one. Um, and, mate, I always do a little bit of research. Um, I got in touch with your good mate, Darcy, um, who's fresh off the back page of the uh, weekend's paper, uh, and he's given me um, a little bit of in hindsight of what might have gone on back in your Mount Barker days. He tells me you hold the record for the most consumed... Ch crumbed chicken and cheese sausages at the Mount Barker BP. Is this true? Um, look, I'd just like to shout out to Dumbbell Dars for that. Um, yep, West End Plumbing. Um, that's what he was on the paper for. Uh, if you've got any plumbing needs, his uh, slogan is, even if you've eaten a curry, we'll fix your toilet in a hurry. Um, so hit him up if you need anything. Secondly, I cannot confirm nor deny whether I've eaten 12 crumb chicken and cheese sausages in one sitting. Unfortunately, Mount Barker BP no longer exists, rest in peace. Um, it's now a peak or something, so my record's off the wall, if I had a record. Um, <laughs> so that's a confirm, I believe. I cannot, cannot. <laughs> De definitely confirm, mate. Um, our first function last week, the reverse raffle, gave a chance for, the, uh, for the, all the new recruits and the first year players to stand up and show what they're made of uh, off field. Who were the best sons and uh, anyone surprised you on the night? Um, first year player, I would have to go to probably Blaine Wilson for surprising me. <laughs> just on the sheer volume of alcohol we can drink, like it's just impressive. He just puts them away one after the other and still holds, holds his own when it comes to the end of the night. Yeah, perfect, mate. Uh, he had a bit to live up to because there was a there was a bit going on that he does go home early, but he definitely uh, put him for the group. <laughs> Mate, a couple of girlfriends actually took out first prize. They won twelve hundred bucks. I won't say what happened later with the money, but um, what would you, what would you do if you won twelve hundred bucks, mate? What would be the first thing you'd buy? Probably some crumb chicken and cheese sausages. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. And lastly, um, you're in the initial uh, the state squad to play next weekend versus South Australia. Um, no doubt you'll be looking for the boys to give you a few cheap ones this weekend, and hopefully we can get the win against Peel, and uh, hopefully you can play again next week for your state. Yeah, well, well, that's the goal, mate. Uh, hopefully uh, we get the chockies to start with against Pure and hopefully we can take away the win. But if a uh, couple happen to fall into my lap, I will take them um, and hopefully get a bit of, bit of run into next week if, if I'm good to go. A bit like those ch uh, crumb chicken and cheese sausages falling into your lap, mate. Uh, well, mate, thanks for playing the character today, mate, and uh, all the best. And uh, hopefully the boys can get the win against Peel. And uh, as always, go the Bulldogs.